Good day, my beautiful people. So yesterday was actually week three for me, but I was a little busy, so I didn't do the video, but I am doing it today. So pretty much just to give some updates. Um, I had my massage in Gainesville last week. It was really good. Um, he put some like scar spray, some vitamin E or something on it and um, put me up on a UV light and I sat on it for a little bit and he massaged it, which I feel like it's much better since having that done. Another thing that I learned that I didn't know after um, I had surgery is that I'm supposed to let my body breathe. I didn't know that. I thought I'm supposed to just wear the faha all the time and everything was healing correctly except my belly button. It's like it just stayed moist and it wasn't it wasn't healing. But now it is. So I'm at the point now where I feel like I need to go ahead and get a marble or whatever and put it in there just to like, you know, um start forming my belly button because it has dried out. Um this morning I put a Q tip in it. I mean, a cotton ball in it when I cleaned it, just kind of like, so it wouldn't smush together. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I will be ordering that and putting that in. Um, so hopefully I have that this week. So I guess by next week, we can kind of see if it made any changes. Um, so I have been letting my belly get some air. Like I would have my faha on and I, I stopped wearing the board. Um, my massage therapist said that, you know, it sometimes makes this hard and he didn't suggest wearing it in the first 30 days or whatever. It was annoying anyway. I'm gonna be honest with you. So I stopped wearing it. This fits around my waist when I had surgery. So I just wrap this around and then I just leave it right here. Oh, this is my cotton ball. But I just leave it open. And then, like, I walk around the house like this, just so it's getting air. And I try to do that at least three times a day um, for an hour or whatever. Um, I was able to wear my fa, fa just my faha this weekend because um, it was the 4th of July. Um, and then I did have a bridal shower. So I was able to just, like, just wear my faha. It felt weird. It felt like, so you're going to feel tight. You're going to feel tight. No doubt. You're going to feel tight. It feels weird because it's like, it's not your body. Like, I don't know. It's your body, but it, it doesn't feel like it. So the, the biggest change for me is just getting used to this being so tight and this, like even eating, like I ate carbs for the like first time in a minute. Like, cause I usually eat carbs, but I do like a certain amount of grams a day. I try to do like no more than 35 grams. And so pretty much just one meal. That's pretty much, I, it, if it's a croissant, a small croissant, if it's a little bit of rice, no more than a cup, whatever it is, that's how I do it. I don't really measure it. I just know what is too much. Um, so I, you know, ate some pasta and, you know, mainly meats, but um, I just felt like bloated. Like, I don't know. It just felt weird. Cause your eating habits have changed and touching on that so since my surgery after having my surgery i was 177 or something like that before surgery i was 177 after surgery i weighed myself like four days after i was 177 it wasn't four days it was when i got home so it was like day six or seven i was 177 so I have changed my eating habits drastically, like I told y'all. Um, I am mainly drinking water, maybe one coffee a day. If I'm drinking coffee, it's a keto coffee, which I am like no sugar really, sugar-free sugar, liquid syrup, um, creamer. I'm not drinking regular creamer. I'm drinking almond creamer. I'm trying to stay away from the dairy products per, per my massage, massage therapist. Um, I'm trying to stay away from um, dairy, uh, wheat, bread, um, what else? So I eat more fiber, more greens, um, more proteins, and stuff like that. So just doing that, um, I weighed myself yesterday. 
excuse me, other day before, and I was one set. I was one sixty nine. So I lost eight pounds without even trying. Honestly, I really don't want to lose weight. One seventy seven was my. It was my comfortable weight. I just wanted this to be, be honest. So the most I even thought about losing was maybe another 10 pounds and I'm pretty much there. So I'm a little cautious at this point because I really don't want to lose a lot of weight. Like, to be honest, I am very happy with myself. I don't want to be a too skinny bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to, I still want to be full. Like, it is what it is. We all have our own individual goals. And so I'm a little hesitant because Eating the way I'm supposed to eat, I'm losing weight <laughs> without trying. So right now, um, three weeks post-op, I am 169. So I guess I'll touch base in like two weeks on my weight just to see where I'm at. I'm going to continue to eat the way I'm supposed to eat. Um, and uh, like I said, I'll just let everybody know like where I'm at based upon that it is good to start eating before i guess just because it was an adjustment like i didn't eat right right after surgery i'm not lying i ate better but i didn't just eat right especially in pain and cooped up in a room and sore i had my chips i had my candy but when i got home it was like okay go because at this point, I want the swelling to go down the way it's supposed to. I want to look the way I want to look. I don't went through a lot. I don't got cut. I don't like, I'm in pain. I was hunched over. Like, I got to have something to show for it. You know what I'm saying? So, that being said, um, let's get to it. As far as my week three results, how my tummy looks. So one thing I do hate about these is when you have them, like it be making indents and it don't go all the way around. So, but it, it goes away on its own. So my scar, I am able to see a lot of my stitching. I'm gonna get it and come closer. Now, like I can see like my thread, it's pretty much healed. It has kind of like solidified. This was the last area to heal. As you see, but that's pretty much healed. So, at this point, I'm just trying to make sure the swelling go down as much as possible. It's pretty much healed. That has fused together. This, is, like I said, was the last area. It's still a little itchy. I can feel the stitches. So the back is the last to heal for me. My belly button is drying up. It is at that point where I think it is it's good. Um it's not I'm not really I'm not really like a lot of my fluid was pushing up from my stomach. Like it was areas here that wasn't the same. I guess and down here was a little bulky where my little drainage tubes was. I felt like it was a little fuller back there, but it it was like pushing out of there. But honestly, I don't know if it's just because it's week three or the treatment from my last massage, but it, like I said, I am definitely in that healing phase at this point. I have one, one more week. And then I'll pretty much just be in my faha. Pretty much. It's weird because, like, I gotta get new bras and everything. These boobs are still big, y'all. Them things not going nowhere. But the waist. So I was a 36 in the waist, I guess, with my bra. But now I'm like a 34, probably. Can I do a 32? Because, like, I have space, even at the max on my, I mean, you know, the on my the max on my bra and it was a 36 um so like just the waistline like right? said you do have a little indents from that it is supposed to protect you from fibrosis um but me honestly 
I have one more week and I won't be wearing it. But I will wear it sometime. I have heard from other women that these help as far as like keeping you refrained, like keeping you, I guess, I don't know, pushed in or something because it do keep you from swelling and stuff. But um, I guess it helped with the form. But um, I am excited to start wearing my waist trainer, but I won't wear that for another month. Um, I think what I may do is wear my Faha and my waist trainer over it or go and try to get my Faha took in so that it's tight enough because it has stretched since wearing these phones and these pads. It has definitely stretched. See, either it's stretched or this just went down so much, but I have space in my Faha. So I do plan on getting it took in so that it's I have that compression. But until I do, I'll just put my waist trainer over it if it fits. Because the one that I had before, I feel like I'm going to need a new one anyway. Um, other than that, I am, I have most of my endurance back. I do have, like I said, y'all. And I'm able to do, I am able to stand for like eight hours, move around, no issues, no problems. So I do plan on, um, I walk here and then I'm like, I'm not in the little electric cart no more when I go to Publish, y'all. <laughs> like, I am legit like walking and stuff like that. So next week I do plan on start taking little walks and stuff like that. Um, just to get in the habit of working out. I am so ready to like start cardio and ab workouts and stuff like that. Um, just to try to get some definition in my stomach. So I have got some questions about, did I get muscle repair? Yes. When you get the abdominal plastic, like I did the tummy tuck there, you're, you're doing muscle repair, period. Like it's included. Um, and you can kind of tell because when you cough, it wasn't just this that hurt it. It was this that hurt it. Even now lifting up, you know what I mean? It, it, you can feel it like, um, so they definitely did that. So I'm hoping that it's not that hard once I start continuing eating right. Um, hopefully continue. My goal is to tone, not really lose weight. Um, and to just, you know, be able to go outside and just be like, you know, but I'm loving it, y'all. I was, I was, I was legit scared right before I had surgery. Legit, like, should I not do it? Should I do it? You know what I mean? But I had put a lot in this and a lot of money that was already put in the stuff I was not going to get back. So I was like, bump it. I prayed on it. I feel like this is for me. And, you know, I love it, y'all. I be like, it let myself, y'all. be like, you know, my clothes be like, <laughs> mommy of or like I mean I don't know y'all like I said it's just I'm loving it but if you have any questions or concerns or whatever like that hit me up you know what I mean write me I will respond you know um follow you know what I mean you can follow like my thing or whatever so that you know you'll get the videos as I'm doing my goal is to let you see what you're getting um i didn't find a lot of videos that did week by week i had a lot of videos that was after and then like months after i kind of wanted to see the step by step like how long before i'm up and going yeah following my videos y'all seeing i'm much better than i was last week and the week before i'm standing up straight upright i'm able to almost lift my arms all the way up <laughs> it's really tight but um it this you know this helps just being able to see somebody else and ask questions you know if i can answer them i will all right all right y'all that's it for today so i will see y'all next week bye